Do you see that? Oh, whoa. You want to go ahead and reveal sure. that? Try not to get your fingers on it. Wow. Wow, oh, look at that, guys. That is one of the best wheats I've ever seen in my life. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quinn's Coins, your home for treasure hunting of all kinds. So today we have another competition coin roll hunt for you. We have our box of pennies here, $25 of pennies, and we're going to be using the placemats, actually putting them to their first really good use because what I designed these for was to do these competition hunts. As you can see, these are the placemats that I designed, and they have all the different pennies on the front and on the back. We have the rules of the competition competition hunt along with uh, a little bit of a reference here to low mintage coins and key date coins. So we're going to be using these for the first time today in a competition hunt and I couldn't be more excited. Now to give you a little bit of a closer look at the placemat. So as you can see we have our entire score sheet here. Go ahead and pause the video and look through uh, that if you want to see exactly how we're going to be scoring this. I'm going to move this down just a little bit because we have an additional uh, score sheet here. We use this because we're from Michigan and we get tons of Canadian coins. So we have a few Canadian coins that are going to be worth a few points. Moving up to the right hand corner of the placemat you can see we have our key dates listed here so if we find any of these they're going to be worth 50 points and then over here we have our low mintage Lincoln cents listed out so if we get any of the coins on this list they're going to be worth 25 points a piece. So with that being said why don't we go ahead and split up the rules and let's get right into this competition. Let's do it. So Kevin it looks like you're getting into the hunt a little bit early. <laughs> why don't you go ahead and show us what just came out of this box. Yeah so you might have seen it as I was uh, pulling out those rolls. This, this thing kind of exploded on me. Uh, right off the bat, looks like we got a 2017P right out of the middle of the roll. So, nice. It's, you don't see that too often. The the roll sometimes will explode on you like that. You know, as you while you got the camera on you, Kevin, you may as well just go ahead and look through the rest of that roll and see if you got anything. So you have I'll let you know if I have anything and we can just shift the camera over like that. Yeah, so I'm seeing some Canadians. Here, I'll show you this one. Just got a 1983. Canadian coin right there. That's not going to be worth any points though. Not old enough. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Looking for Wheaties, anything old. It's usually what you find. But I don't see anything in my roll. Did you get anything there? Nothing. All right, so one roll down and the score is zero to zero. We'll get on to the next one and see what we can find. All right, so second roll didn't produce anything either. This is looking like a pretty weak box so far. I just got into the third roll and I think, ah, uh, I thought I might've had a young head there. Um, sometimes those Canadian edges look really good, but this one is just going to be another one of those. Guys, this might be the record for the worst box ever. Uh, you know, using this new uh, Quinn's Coins score system, it might be interesting to see like how bad a box can be compared to how good a box can be. So uh, Yeah, I mean, we just got through 10 rolls in total and no points to show for it yet. I don't know, this is uh, looking pretty rough, but hopefully we get something out on the next roll that'll make up for it. Ah, uh, finally, we got some points on the board. It's about as weak as you can get as far as points go. Um, but this came out of like the third roll in that last, or the third coin in that last roll. It's a 1964 Canadian, which means it's going to be a young head, and we count those for five points. If we take a look over here, here's the additional Canadian score sheet. That would be right here, young head 53, up through 64. So I just got myself five points. That brings the score up to five to zero, and we will get on to the next roll, and hopefully Kevin can get on the board sometime soon. All right, so I got a good feeling about this roll. The reason being, if you take a look here, I just opened it up and this whole end right here looks like there's a ton of copper in there. Not so sure about this other side. I do see one coin I want to take a look at on the other side though. This one looks a little bit older. We'll see what we got. Yep, 1963 Denver, but not going to be old enough uh, to get us points. So let's just go ahead and open up this roll and see what we got in that nice copper uh, section on the left side. So. I am seeing lots of coppers, which means that we do have a good chance to uh, find a wheat penny, but I don't see any wheat pennies so far. This is 63, that's pretty close. If you didn't know already, the uh, wheat pennies were made up from 1909 up through 1958. So anything 1958 and older is going to be a weedy. But it looks like you're just going to get a bunch of copper out of that one. No wheat pennies. And still no wheat pennies on the box so far, so. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty bad box so far. Are just you pulling up coppers over there? Yeah, I'm pulling up coppers. Uh, yeah, I'm I just, I just, out. I mean, they look so old. They look so different than the zinc pennies. I just hate to put them back in circulation. Right, Kevin, you got a Canadian here. I don't even know yeah, what this is. This 74, 84. It's, like, it's copper. Right? Very hard to. Oh no, it's uh, that's probably a 94 in that case. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll uh, put it to the side anyway, and we'll get on to the next roll. Oh, guys, I think we just got some more points here. Even though I feel like this box has already been gone through as far as wheat pennies go, 
they must have missed the Canadians or just not have been interested in them. So I just got a 1961 Canadian penny right there, and that is also going to be a young head. So two young heads on the box so far for me. That brings me up to 10 points, and Kevin is still at there zero. There we go. Oh, you got something? Speak for you. Oh, See nice. You. Yeah, bring it over here. Finish off the roll here real quick. Yep. It's a pretty common day. Uh, just pulled it out, linking up. 1953 Denver wheat cent. Yep, so that is the first wheat penny on the box. It looks like we both got five points on that. Mine was off a Canadian, and yours is a wheat cent. So, first one on the box, though, that's pretty surprising to see it come out. All right, that'll bring you up to five, and I am at 10, and we are going to get on to the next one. All right, after about a six roll uh, dry streak there, I picked out a pretty good roll here. First off, just to start, we got a really nicely uh, deeply struck toned copper scent here, really deep room, and some nice uh, green and purples coming through. Uh, just, a, just a cool scent. And then I got pull, pulled up two, 2009, so there's two mm. points. And then I probably got the uh, the worst five points that you can probably get in this game. Not only is it a young head, but it is destroyed. I can't even read the, oh, it's, it's 64, of course. Yeah. So yeah, that's about the worst five points you can get in a penny box. So. Yeah, when Kevin first showed me that coin, I was like, is that an Indian head? Like it was so messed up, you couldn't even tell what it was. I will show you here though, Kevin just pulled, like he said, two 2009, so those are worth one point a piece. And then down here, we have our young head Canadians from 53 through 64, that's worth five points. So that brings you up seven, you're at 12, and I'm at 10. So Kevin takes the lead for the first time, and we are getting into what is actually, I don't know, I think yeah. we're, we're already halfway through, so. Uh, pretty far. Pretty weak box so far. Let's get into the next roll. So the next roll for me actually looks pretty interesting. If you take a look at this, we have uh, something that's showing through here. You can see the rim is a little bit wider than uh, any of the other coins in this roll because it is showing through the paper. So I'm gonna actually open this one live because I'm not sure what this is going to be. Um, so it will be interesting. It's probably just gonna be a really beat up coin. And it is right there. Let's see what we have. Wow, yeah, that is really, really messed up. It looks oh. like, look at, look at this, Kevin. It's like wiped. Oh, uh, you can a, hardly identify that, but it does over. look, yeah, it looks like it is a Lincoln Memorial penny, so it's not going to be worth anything no matter what it is. Oh my gosh. Kevin, you, you look like you're pulling uh, Young Head Madness over there. Yeah, What's going this on? is, uh, I don't really know what to say right now. Guys, this is the third and the fourth t t uh, 1964 Young Heads in this box. Uh, here's a pretty standard one. This one's actually in pretty nice shape. It's got mostly all of its original mint luster. Yeah, that so. one's in really nice shape. Yeah, nice color there. for sure. So uh, easy, easy 10 points, and uh, this box is looking like a Canadian box more than an American scent box. That's right. We've already pulled five young heads. The majority of them have been 64. Actually, I think all four out of five. Four out of five, and oh, then I pulled. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pulled a 1961. So Kevin, you are now up to 22 and I'm at 10. You're definitely pulling ahead here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pull something out soon or I'm gonna get beat. Oh, nice. I just opened this roll and the third coin in popped out. I saw the face of it, read the date, and it's just gonna squeak by as a wee penny in 1958 Denver. So there we go. We just got an extra five points. Whoa. Me up to 15. What? Do you see that? Uh, yes. Oh my. I do. Does yes. it look like an old one? No, this, that luster, that's a wee. Oh, whoa. I was looking at this coin, I thought you were saying that's an old one, but what? yeah, I see that. So let's zoom in on this, Kevin, because Kevin just found this yeah. amazing wheat penny. All we see is the wheat ear right there. And uh, do you want to go ahead and reveal sure. that? Try not to get your fingers on it. Wow. wow. Look at that, guys. That is one of the best wheats I've ever seen in my life. Yes, this, is, this is like a wheat you find at a coin All right, let's, 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 uh, oh, let's, let's set it down now. Let's set it down and see. It has a really nice tone, too. This might be a proof, actually. It could be, yeah. Go ahead and show it up there. Uh, no, I don't think it's a proof, but it has really nice tone. Um, completely original. Let's check it out. 1956 Denver. Yeah, bring it up a little bit more. I think you can get some, some details there on it. There you go. So 1956 Denver, that is probably the best looking wheat penny I have ever seen come out of a roll. Definitely yeah. unexpected for this yeah. box. Um, so that is an awesome find. I didn't even see what you were looking at originally. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't look like there's anything else in that roll for me except for this 2009 right here. So I did actually just grab one more point on that. Kevin, that's going to be worth five points for you. And I have six on the roll. So 
Uh, looks like I still beat you on that roll, but that's an awesome find right there. Yeah, sure. Um, definitely something to put in the flips. All right, let's get on to the next one, and hopefully our luck is changing now. Oh, it looks like I just got a wee penny out of this roll. I just poured it out. It looks like our luck is actually going to be changing here. I think we got all the bad rolls out of the way in the beginning. You can see we have a wheat back facing us right here. And that is the first coin that I saw when I opened this roll. So there you go. Wheat back. It's going to be worth at least five points. Let's flip it over and see what we got for a date. So 1954 Denver is just going to be worth five points. That's a common wheat. But I will take that. That brings me up to 21 points. And Kevin has 27. Make it 26. Uh-oh. looks like Kevin just pulled a... Steel Canadian, that is the first year that they made them in steel, 2000. So that brings you back to 26. It's actually looking like it's gonna be a very close game at this point. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and while I have the camera on me, just look through the rest of this roll, just in case anything else pops up uh, while we're looking here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to though. I see some coppers, but I'm mostly seeing um, the memorial back. So, all right guys, that looks like that is going to be it for that roll. We'll get on to the next one. Like I said, the score is now 21 to 26, and Kevin's grabbing all my coppers. Oh, you got something right there. No. no. Kevin had a Canadian, but it was not a young head. You said you did get a 2009, though? Yep, so I made up for that uh, steel cent I just got last roll. All right, let me see that one. Is this the one you found? Yeah. So you got this 2009, and what is this one called? Uh, professional Life. Professional Life. That is Abraham Lincoln standing next to a building, in other words. So, all right, you go up to 27, I'm at 21. Still a very close game. If I get one wheat, that still won't uh, be enough to tie me up with Kevin, but uh, hopefully I can get a wheat, a 2009, and an Indian head, and then I'll just win the game. All right, let's get into the next one. Oh, finally, it looks like I did get a 2009. We just got it uh, with the date side facing up pretty dirty and it is a professional life just like the one that Kevin just had so that gives me one more point puts me at 22 Kevin's still at 27 though so if I get a weedy in here then we will be tied up hopefully we can do that of course I'm gonna keep looking out for those 2009s because I'll take them when I can get them but I would love to see a five point coin come out of here any minute oh nice dude it happened really? yeah it was right there next to that 1981 and this one is about 30 years older than that. Not in the best shape though, 1951 Denver. That is gonna be a wheat penny, and that actually ties me up with Kevin. So that is the, exactly the roll that I was looking for. A six point roll brings me up to 27 to 27, and we have about four rolls left. I actually have four, Kevin has five. Hold I gotta, on now. I gotta roll ahead of him somehow. I think you're doing your math wrong here. No, 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 you missed, uh, you missed something. I have uh, three wheats, two young heads, so that's 25 already, and then 26, 27. Looks good to me. Wait, how'd you get 28? I don't know. Oh yeah, I got the yeah, 2009. But you never went back for the... Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're a terrible scorekeeper. All right, we're all set, tied up here, 27, 27. Kevin, did you get anything out of that roll? Yeah. Uh, so it looks like you are going to go Looks up. like I'm taking the lead back by one point. I got a nice little uh, multi-colored 2009 here. Uh, oh really yeah, it's a nice toning on the, that one. The, the relief is different color than the field, so... Yeah. So you got 2009 formative years and that one's from Philly. All right, so you cool. are up to 28 now. You have a one point lead on me and we are even in rolls. So we each have four left to go. Hopefully I get something out of here and pull ahead with the win and uh, we will see what happens. So I didn't get anything on that roll and Kevin once again pulls out another 2009. This one is in excellent shape. It is another formative years. And uh, actually the mint mark on this one is going to be a Philadelphia once again. So that's a nice coin, Kevin. Definitely want to hold that one to the yeah. side. For and uh, you are up 28 to 26, getting into the third to final roll. All right, guys, so this looks like it's going to be a good roll for me. Um, I took a peek at something over here that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, but why don't we just go ahead and hunt through the rest of it? Because I saw, first of all, what? There's something. You got something? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got something too. All right, so I, first of all, I got a 2009. This is a presidency, or not presidency, um, professional life. It's actually a Denver, so it's gonna be worth one point right there. Let's go ahead and continue on through the rest of this roll. There may be more than I've already seen, so I just wanna make sure I'm not going to miss anything. All right, so here's the coin that I originally saw right here. It is another 1961 Canadian. It is going to be a young head, and it's gonna be worth five points for me. So that's six points on the roll once again. Um, definitely gonna bring me up above Kevin 
for now. Actually, I just got another 2009, and that is another Professional Life. Let's see what the mint is on that. Wow. It's a Philly. So I just got a 2009 P&D on the uh, Professional Life. So that's a... Whoa, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at... Did you get... Look. Oh, my God. Okay, so these last rolls are looking really good. I actually almost missed this, guys. I flipped it over, didn't even know. There must have, I must have had the wheat side up. It's a 51 that actually still has a little bit of the luster left on it. So you take a look at that. That actually, that's another wheat penny on the box that has some luster left. That's really cool to see. Uh, definitely not as good as Kevin's wheat penny that he found earlier, but uh, definitely a very good find. So that actually brings this roll up to 12 points on the roll. That's a very high scoring roll. And Kevin has some more stuff over here that uh, he wanted to show you as well. So why don't you go ahead and show him this. So it looks like Ryan had a really good roll, but I as well also had a very good roll. As you can see, I got this uh, 1951 to match Ryan's 1951D. It doesn't have quite the luster, actually it doesn't have any luster. But a uh, pretty common wheat penny fun there. And this night, I don't even know the date yet. Um, young head, I haven't flipped it over yet. 61, not a 64. Right, you got a 61 so. as well. So all we're getting out of here is 61s and 64s. Kevin, you actually just had 10 points on that roll. Nice. And I had 12. So what's the score right now? It's tied up now. Oh, it's tied up? Yeah, because I get 10, so that brings me to... That's right, because I was down by two, and I just, mm -hmm. just beat you on that one by two. Wow. This is going to be a really good uh, finish here. We each have two rolls left. Hopefully, they're not completely empty, because otherwise, we're going to have to deal with a tie, and we've never done a tiebreaker before. Shoot. So, um, I don't 39 know. 39 and 39. Yep. So, why don't we go ahead and get into the second to last roll now. Kevin, did you just finish with your second to last roll? I did. Nothing in there for me. Well, I just finished with oh, my second to last no. roll, and I didn't get anything oh, either. <laughs> so, why don't we go ahead and... Uh, turn on the camera and open up the last roll live. Let's actually try and split screen this if we can. Your placement there, mine there, and we will just put this right in the middle here. Actually, I need to dump mine first, so let me do that. And then we will get into the last roll. And uh, this is actually a very tight competition. It's currently, what, 39 to 39? Yeah, I don't know how they always uh, end up like this. We just, yeah, had a, crazy. we just had a pretty crazy live stream where I won it on like the last roll. I was down by four. Oh, yeah. That I was, was down by four fun. points and I found a, uh, a wee penny. So that brought me up five and I won it. Yeah, that so. was super duper clutch. So now we're gonna have to get in close quarters here, try to hunt through this uh, so that we can get it on camera. This is the last roll for both of us, and boom, look at that. No way. Second coin in actually ends up being a wheat penny. Oh shoot, I didn't turn on the camera though. Dang it. Sorry guys, we totally forgot to turn on the camera. Okay, I just got it on though. So the second to uh, the end was a wheat penny on that last roll for me. So that is gonna be a 1954 Denver, it looks like, and it's worth five points. So I am loving that coin right now. Kevin, you better come up with something good here in the next few seconds. Uh, Otherwise, you're going to be falling behind. All right, so I'm not seeing anything else here. You come to the end of the roll there? Yeah. Mm, that's a chance. Nope, doesn't look like it. You got it. All right, well, actually, I was, I might have had it anyway. I just got another uh, 2009 in that roll. That one's got some gnarly toning on it. So that brings me up six points on that roll. And I think we are done. Yep, so that is the Check end of that, that roll. What do you got? Just a little tone, 2011. Yeah, some interesting toning on that one. Um, but yeah, that looks like that is going to be the end of it. So I just was able to pull out uh, six points on that last roll there. That brings me up to 45 points on the roll. Kevin, or 45 points on the box. Kevin had 39, so it was a close competition, but uh, I was able to pull away with it. Yeah, I was really w wondering what we were gonna do if we had a tiebreaker there. We never yeah, had no, we, we'll, we'll have to figure that out in the future. I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. Yeah. So all in all, the total points on that box were 84 when you combine my 45 with Kevin's 39. Actually, a very surprising amount of those points came from Canadians. If we take a look at uh, all of the Canadians that we found, I think I have three of them, or at least the older Canadians that we count for points. So I have three of them there, two 61s and a 64. And then Kevin, how many did you get in the end there? Uh, pick them up for you. Are these can, oh, Canadians? Yeah. Yeah. So Kevin, it looks like you had four of them. One of them is in really nice shape. I love that uh, 64 right there, which has all the, the luster on it. Um, so you got three 64s and a 61. That's actually pretty cool. Um, how many points in Canadians is this? 15 plus 20, so it's 35 yeah, points. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of points Just in Canadians. Canadians. Pulled two uh, decent wheat pennies out here in 1953 and 1951. And then probably the best corner of the box Oh yeah, is the, uh, yeah, wow, look at that angle right there. Yeah, the luster on that thing is amazing. 1956 Denver wheat penny. 
I've never seen one honestly come out of a box that yeah. looks that good. For sure. So definitely something you want to put in a Great flip point. and uh, hold on to for a while. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the hunt. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Always bring you along with the hunts and having a great time with it. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Quinn signing out. And I will see you in the next one. It's mine. It's actually mine. It's actually mine. It's actually mine. All right, there we go. No. No, no! How hard can it be to share your life with me?